And what we're going to do now is work on adding rounded corners and, and looking at other ways in which the menu can be styled. So we're going to start that off by talking about the two different ways rounded corners can be added. The one way, and this is probably the preferred way, I mean this is the way that I'm going to show you that I would use in this situation where you've got a menu bar that you want to span essentially the entire width of the page and where you want to round corners over here and round corners over there. And what I would do is apply the rounded corners to the menu, overall menu element itself and not to the individual menu items. Now what that means is that we need to move these menu items away from the ends of the menu then. This one already is because the menu is a little bit longer than the menu items are. But this one is butted right up against the edge and so rounded corners would be hidden by this. So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the width of these menu items a little bit and then we're going to add padding on the left hand side here that will give us a chance to add rounded corners. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So we come over to our navigation menu form here and the first thing to do is look at our typical menu item height and width. Right now we have a typical menu item width of 110 pixels and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven menu elements. So we need probably at least five pixels over here and we've got probably we've got more than five there. I suppose we could probably just reduce this by one. Well, we'll reduce it by two and we'll see how that works. So instead of 110, we'll make it 108. And then come up over to our overall menu styles and we're going to give ourselves a little bit of left padding. So looking at our overall menu padding, we'll select that option and hit save and because of this progressive refinement that we use in this plugin because we've selected overall menu padding we're going to have the opportunity to adjust that padding here in a second Let's save and then in our overall menu padding we're just going to add some left padding so let's give ourselves 10 pixels to the left and hit save again and come over here and refresh this now when you hover you can see those 10 pixels sitting there, right? Right there on that edge. We come over here, we've got a little bit more than 10. You know, maybe that's 15. So if we just add, say, another couple of pixels over here to that padding, we're probably going to be good. We'll, we'll go from 10 to 12. And then while we're at it, we're also going to go ahead and add corners. So we go to our overall item styles and we say configure rounded corners and hit save and then in terms of our rounded corners we now have that options dialog that shows here and I think what we'll do is we'll give it 10 pixel radius on those corners let's see what that looks like Come over here and refresh this okay there we go so now we've got yeah actually that looks pretty good so each one of these things is the same width, that is each of these menu items is the same width and then the end has the rounded corner that never changes as a hover. One of the nice things about this is that we don't end up with the border transition that happens when you've got a rounded corner and then a border only on the bottom. It transitions into no border, kind of funny right in there, so you don't have that issue with this. Okay, so there we go, there's rounded corners there. Now we could also add a, a drop shadow to this. So we come back over to our overall menu styles and again we're adding the drop shadow to the overall menu not the individual menu items. So we configure the drop shadow. We hit save. And then overall drop shadow width. Let's call it 5 pixels. We'll give the blur 5 pixels and let's say our drop shadow color is, well let's just pick a color in there hit save again and refresh this okay and there we go now we've got our little drop shadow here maybe that's a little too light actually now that I see that so yeah let's try that one there 
and refresh it. There we go. And now I've got a nice drop shadow with this thing hovering over the top of it as one way of doing this.